We are with Chief Scientist here at the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson, and looks like we are brewing up something here today. I'm going to show you a, a quick thing you can do for Halloween. Okay. And if you happen to have one of these highlighters around, um, these are the kind that uh, fluoresce under black light, you know, so they, they glow really brightly. Inside here, if you very carefully with safety glasses and a pair of pliers break <laughs> this open, there's a little sponge inside. If you soak that sponge in water, you can create a solution Ooh. that will glow very, very brightly under black light, which you, know, you nice. commonly see around Halloween time. So today we're going to make slime. Oh, okay. We're going to make a couple right. different kinds of slime. And so I thought we'd start off with the basic ingredients, right? Uh, clear spool glue. <laughs> this stuff has inside of it a polymer called polyvinyl alcohol. And what that means is long identical chains of slimy, slippery stuff. If you ever played with school glue and you know, yep. let it dry on your finger oh, and all yeah. that. <laughs> now to make slime, you need one extra thing. You need something to cross link those chains together to make it kind of sticky or slimy. Mm -hmm. And that's borax. This one container of borax, just as a quick note, is enough borax to make 300 gallons of slime. That's a lot of slime. You don't need much. Ooh, no. You <laughs> don't need much at all. I think sometimes people think they need to add a lot of extra borax, and you really don't, just a little bit. Okay. In Good fact, you know. can even substitute contact lens cleaner solution, which oh, has well, sodium tetraborate in it. It has borax in it. But anyway, let's get started. So the basic ingredient is I, I've given you a solution of, this is the crosslinker, so don't add that this yet. One? Set okay. that off to the side. Don't want to mix that up. Now we're going to start with a clear glue. And the recipe we're going to use is about 125 milliliters of clear glue. So we're just going to, we're going to eyeball it. Uh, I'm going to add some in here. It's about 100. Yep, that's exactly 125. There you now, go. Now, does it matter if you use clear glue or the white oh, the glue? white glue? Excellent question. So the clear glue has polyvinyl alcohol in it. The white glue has polyvinyl alcohol and polyvinyl acetate. So it's two different polymers. Okay. And so one, you get a visually different appearance, but essentially it's going to be the same chemistry that's happening. So it doesn't necessarily matter? I mean, if you have white glue yeah, White glue house, would certainly you work. That? And you okay. know, that's going to give you a more opaque sort of solution. And if you use the clear stuff, it's going to, for what we're doing today, we kind of want the clear stuff because we want to be able to sort of see through okay. our slime. Now, I think you should use that solution over there. <laughs> okay. Remember? That's the stuff that was just, you know, I soaked this in some water. Now, what do I, what gonna, do I put in first? You're, you're just going to put that in. You're going to pour it right in here. Put it, okay. You're gonna, we're going to dilute much? Does our it school glue, fill it all the way up to oh. the 500 ml, the top marker there. And again, you know, you can get really <laughs> technical with how much you add in or how much you don't add in. But really, it's all about experimenting. That looks pretty good. Okay. Okay. So now you've got that. I'm going to add just some plain water right here because I'm going to do something a little bit different with mine. So I'm going to top mine off. There you go. I forgot to bring a stir, so we'll just use this. <laughs> we're going to mix it's yours coming in handy up. for a lot of things with this experiment. It does. Okay, <laughs> we're going to mix that up and mix mine up a little bit. Now, the beauty of slime, as every kid today knows, there are so many variations. There are so many things you can do. So many different ways of making it interesting. I'm going to add to mine a special little thing here. This is called... Is uh, a secret ingredient? Secret ingredient. Okay. It is a little bit of fluorescein, which is this stuff, and some bromthymol blue. We'll talk, about, we'll talk about it in a second. But you might get a, an idea of what's going to happen here. Ooh. It's going to be kind of a dark, opaque green color. So Very nice. next step, this is where we get messy. Oh, and okay. you, you removed everything good. <laughs> yep, we're good. Okay. We're ready. The final step is to cross-link our polymer. So you've got a bowl, I've got a bowl. Mm -hmm. We're just going to pour them both in at the same time. Okay. And then dig in All right. and start mixing. Here we go. All right, so just go ahead and pour them in. And this is the fun part, Oof. or... It could be what's called the messy part. As we start to mix this together, describe, <laughs> describe the sensation. What does that feel like? Um, almost like egg yolks, a oh, little bit. Yeah. Ooh, that is, I have not heard that description. No. That is an excellent one. Is that a good one? It, yeah. That's, absolutely. <laughs> yes. And so as you'll notice, as you start to mix it, it gets a little bit thicker. I'm, I'm going from egg yolk maybe to um, scrambled egg texture. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. And the more you mix, go ahead and pull yours up and see how you can stretch it. See if you can stretch it. We're making a really, Ooh. really wet slime. And so yours is going to be that. Hey, pull it back up. Pull it back up. Check this out. Oh, oh. Here we go. With that fluorescein in there the, from the highlighter, it glows brilliantly. It's really cool. Right? So here, check out mine. Very cool. You can also get that brilliant green color. Ooh. But. It's like Shrek green. Check this out, though. I'm going to show the camera first. I see if I can do this. Look through. Look through the slime. What color is it? Red. 
How'd that happen? It's red, but if I put the light on oh. it. Green. It's green. Hmm. So there are two dyes here. One is the fluorescein, which gives it that reddish color on reflection. But with transmitted light, the blue dye that I put in is actually absorbing everything except for the red color. And so you get kind of what we might call a vampire slime. Depending on how you look at it, it looks a little bit different. It does. That is an interesting uh, color combination there. Now, I guess you could save it for Christmas, too, if you really wanted to. Oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> that is great. I'm gonna, uh, we'll Maybe do, a Christmas we'll, gift, We will do that you know? sometime. Yeah, it's a Christmas slime. Now, one thing with the slime, be careful when you dispose of it. When you're done with it, throw it away. Don't put it down the drain. Oh, that's, that's a totally a different good experiment. Tip, Carl. That's called calling the plumber. <laughs> so slime, all sorts of ways you can do it. Um, cool tip with this though, you can get that fluorescein dye out really easily with the fluorescent marker. All right, and this is something that you can do at home. Absolutely. Right? And you know what? If you want to learn more about how to make slime, we offer a workshop about oh, how to make well, slime. Oh, there you go. It's so all different kinds of slime. Oh, and my team has come up with even cooler different kinds of slime that have uh, all sorts of stuff happening inside. So, so uh, check that out on our website, Imagination from Station, can do. Toledo.org. All right, yeah. perfect. And that is how you imagine it. <laughs>